Hey guys, Selenu here from PlayToEarn.net. For today's video, we'll be talking about play to earn games that you can play anywhere and anytime straight from your phone. Mobile gaming has become one of the most popular modes of play, so blockchain gaming projects have also made their games ready to play on the go. So without further ado, here are 5 play to earn mobile games live right now. To start off our list, we have Axie Infinity. Axie Infinity is a PvP card battling game built on Ethereum and their own network called Ronin. In Axie Infinity, players collect creatures called Axies, raise and breathe them, form teams of Axies, and fight it out with other players for chance at rewards. The main game mode of Axie Infinity is the PvP card battling, where players use their Axies in teams of 3 to fight with other players or in PvE adventure mode. During combat, players use cards to make their Axies do actions like attacking and healing. The first player to eliminate the other player's Axie team wins the match. Each Axie is unique and has its own stats, body parts, and class. The stats are HP, Morale, Skill, and Speed. To determine these stats, an Axie's body parts come into play. The different body parts are Eyes, Ears, Horn, Mouth, Back, and Tail. The Horns, Mouths, Back, and Tail also determine which cards an Axie can use in fights, or the moves available to them. Axies also have classes, or similar to types in Pokemon. Classes have strengths and weaknesses depending on the class they are facing. The classes are Beast, Aquatic, Plant, Bug, Bird, Reptile, Mech, Dawn, and Dusk. When breeding Axies, these characteristics will determine what traits the offspring will have. By playing the game, players can earn SLP or Smooth Love Potion, the game's utility token. This can be used when breeding new Axies or sold on exchanges for other cryptocurrencies. To start playing and earning in the game, a player will need 3 Axies. For players who own a lot of Axies but don't have time to play, they can just rent these out to other players who have time and then split the profits. If you want to try the game out, you can check their website. The next game on our list is Pocket Battles NFT War. Pocket Battles NFT War is a play to earn casual strategy game built on the Miiverse network. In this game, users can play for free, collect powerful NFT heroes, merge and combine soldiers to create their own army, and earn the game's token. The main NFTs to use in the game are the hero NFTs. There are a total of 12 NFT heroes divided into 4 races, human, beast, divine, and undead. There are also 19 non-NFT heroes, but these are generally weaker than NFT heroes. NFT heroes can be obtained via minting events, while normal heroes can be collected through in-game participation and in-app purchases. The game offers different mode for players. First is the campaign mode, a single player mode where players can earn coins, experience, diamonds, and hero shards. This is where players can get combat experience, with campaign having a total of 10,000 stages. Castle Defense is a mode where players defend their castle from enemies over 6 rounds. This can be played 2 times a day, with a chance to earn gold and diamonds. Legends Tower is another PvE mode, where players try to climb a tower of 600 floors, with each floor having harder enemies to deal with. Players who reach the top 5 are rewarded. In Boss Rival, players go up against a large monster. If they defeat the boss, they can earn ruby and exchange it for other valuable goods. And Arena is a PvP mode that resets weekly and is divided into two leagues depending on rank. Players can challenge 10 times a day and use diamonds to get even more challenges. The higher the player's rank at the end of the season, the more rewards they get. Players can earn PKS while playing the game. PKS and PKT can be exchanged for each other, and finally, PKT can be swapped for other tokens on the Miiverse decks. The game is live now and is playable on mobile. You can check their website for more details. If you're enjoying this list so far, you can check out our website at playtoearn.net. We have different categories you can search from so you can actually find what you're looking for. Now let's get back to the video. The next game on our list is Krabata. Krabata is a fully decentralized play and earn idol game built on Avalanche. In Krabata, players can rediscover the kingdom of Krabata and earn rewards through activities like mining, looting, breeding, battling, exploring, and crafting. The main NFTs you use to play the game are the Krabata themselves. These are crab-like creatures in the game that are NFTs so they are freely tradable with other players. Each Krabata has its own strengths and abilities which can be inherited through breeding. There are several ways you can play Krabata in idle mode. First is the Mining Expedition. For mining, you'll need to form a mining party of 3 Krabata first. You can then choose a vacant mine to deploy them in and they start working. By default, each mining expedition takes 4 hours. The second way is looting missions. Here you will need a looting party of 3 Karbata, and you will choose a mine that another player is mining from for your team to loot. This will make your party attack the other player's party. This usually takes 1 to 2.5 hours depending if the other player sends reinforcements. And the last way to earn idly is if you lend out your Karbatas to players that need them. This will give you a commission on the service. By playing the game, you can earn CRA and TUS, the game's two tokens. 
CRA is a government token which is rewarded via staking and playing the game during the incentive period, while TUS is the in-game currency earned via playing the game or crafted using in-game material through various available game modes. If you want to try out the game, check out their website. The next game on our list is Upland. Upland is an open-world virtual simulation game built on EOS. In Upland, players can buy, sell, and trade virtual properties that are mapped to real-world addresses. When players join Upland, they can get started owning a piece of virtual world by buying their first virtual property. The address of this property is the same as the actual real-world address. Through this, players can join a virtual economy where they have the opportunity to make money in the metaverse. They can start out by earning a return on their properties and collecting fees from visitors. They can then flip some of their properties if they are in profit, and keep flipping on the free and open marketplace of the game to generate income and keep earning profits. The game also offers a building feature, where players and like-minded uplanders can develop neighborhoods and build homes, where they can choose from a variety of models to build their dream house in their city. The game also has its own utility token called UPX, but this token is only used internally in the game and cannot be traded on other exchanges. Instead, Upland has a feature called Property to USD, where players can choose to sell their virtual properties and items for either UPX or USD. The game is live now and can be played on web and both Android and iOS devices. If you want to try it out, check your phone's respective app stores. And the last game on our list is Idle Luca. Idle Luca is an idle collectible RPG game built on Terra. In Idle Luca, players can grow their mercenaries by collecting different characters and earn rewards even when offline. Since it is a collectible RPG type of game, the main way to interact with the game are the characters you collect. Characters in the game are divided into 6 attributes and 4 classes that players can mix and match to make their most powerful team. A few examples of characters are Eile, Luin, Layla, Vulcan, Hoya, and Lepis. Players can also put equipment on their characters to enhance them even further. The game offers multiple game modes. In Adventure Mode, players solve problems in areas of Rovelius, the game world, and get XP gems to level up Lucy, to gain access to other game functions. In The Shine of Trials, players can challenge increasingly difficult trials using the characters they have and gain rewards the more they finish. In The Rift Dungeon, players can farm howls to get more heroes that they want. This mode can help players with hero collection. And The Request Center is where players can accept quests and receive rewards upon finishing them. For the PvP modes, the Battlefield of Balance is the main PvP where players fight against others for a chance at rewards. The higher the rank, the more rewards they can get. While in Machina Tactical Warfare, players can clear missions together with others and awarded based on their best mission score. By playing the game, players can earn currencies like Donut and Parfait, which can be swapped for ILT, and then swapped for other tokens on the C2X exchange. The game is live now and playable on mobile. Check your app stores for more details. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you were looking for games you could play right now on your phone while you're on the go, I hope this list helped you out. Which games on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.